Hey, what do we have here? We have a textbook diagram that gives us a, a really outstanding overview of cellular respiration. Uh, what do we have in this diagram? First we can see that cellular respiration has how many major stages to it? Well, I guess three. The red stage, the green stage, and the blue stage. No, really, what do we need to call them? Uh, glycolysis, Krebs cycle, and electron transport chain. Glycolysis, Krebs cycle, electron transport chain. Where do these uh, various stages occur? Well, uh, one of them occurs one place and the other two occur someplace else. Where do the chemical reactions of glycolysis occur? And that's what it is, a series of chemical reactions. Those reactions occur in the cytosol. Let's see, what's the cytosol again? Oh yeah, the liquidy part of the cytoplasm, you know, the cytosol. The end product of glycolysis enters mitochondria, uh, and that's where these occur. Mitochondria enters a mitochondrion for further processing in these other two uh, um, stages of cellular respiration. So, glycolysis uh, starts with glucose, produces something called pyruvic acid, which enters mitochondria for further processing, including the Krebs cycle and the electron transport chain. Uh, what else is going on here? Okay, we got glucose in here. We got something else though, real important, entering here someplace. And uh, yeah, here's here it is down here, oxygen. Uh, the oxygen that all of you and, and me, uh, all of us are inhaling right now. That oxygen is required in the bazillions of mitochondria we have in our trillions of cells. And so oxygen, where is it required? It's required toward the end of the electron transport chain. That oxygen actually becomes part of the uh, products, uh, those uh, uh, substances produced by cellular respiration, water. And so water is produced, becomes part of the cytoplasm of the cell, the cytosol also carbon dioxide and it makes its way back into our circulatory system to our lungs and as we exhale we're exhaling our carbon dioxide that was produced in the mitochondria and, uh, and, and, and got back to our lungs. So we got uh, glucose in, we got oxygen in, we got carbon dioxide out, we got water out. I'm not going to ask you about these little guys here, NADH and uh, so forth, FADH2, uh, but I could uh, certainly and will certainly ask you about ATP. In the process of these reactions taking place, a certain amount of ATP is charged up, and that's what this is all about. This is about energy. The energy that I am using to move my arms right now, that energy uh, goes back to mitochondria and ATP. And so we see uh, the reactions of glycolysis charge up a net of two ATPs, and same thing for Krebs, and then we have the electron transport chain that charges up a whopping 32 ATPs. A total of 2 plus 2 plus 32 equals 34 ATPs charged up. Well, how much glucose? You know, remember glucose? Here's our model of glucose. How much glucose must be processed to charge up the ATP? Well, that's what this little diagram over here is good for. We see energy tokens representing uh, ATP molecules, and it says at the top, insert one glucose. Insert one glucose what? One glucose molecule. So, these ATPs, 36 of them, are charged up by the processing of one glucose molecule. So what's the overview, the big, big picture? Glucose is being processed. The energy stored in the glucose molecule is extracted step by step. Uh, where was it in the glucose molecule? In these bonds. In these bonds. What's that called again? Chemical energy. The chemical energy through a series of complex uh, steps and phases is extracted from glucose and transferred where? It's transferred into ATP molecules. How does that work? How does an ATP molecule charge up again? Let's see, ADP plus phosphate. Oh yeah, new bonds form. That's where it's that's where it's stored. That's how ATP is charged up. ADP plus phosphate group produces ATP, and so ATPs are charged up. So the energy that was stored in glucose is then 
through these, uh, this series of steps is stored again as chemical energy in ATP. Not all of it. A whole bunch of it is also released as heat. So there you have an overview of cellular respiration.